So does it matter if you overfill your fuel tank? Is it possible to overfill your fuel tank? Well, I'm sure we've seen it lots of times where people are at the filling station refueling their car and the pump shuts off, which is a safety mechanism. So it shuts off before there's any potential problems that could be caused. And they just keep going and keep letting the pump shut off to actually fill it up to the brim. Now that probably harks back to the days where you didn't have evaporative emission control system and charcoal canisters in the filler system. So so effectively you were just filling up a tank and you could literally fill that up to the brim of where the filler is and maximize the amount of fuel you get into it. The idea is to minimize the amount of trips you have to make to refuel the car. So just by getting that extra little bit in the tank, it helps. But is that a problem on modern engines? Can it cause damage? Well, in this video, we're gonna look at the problems and symptoms that happen when you ignore the shut off on the fuel pump as you're filling it up and just look at some of the issues and problems that can be caused by that. So just understanding the fuel system, the fuel tank is not sealed. If it was, as the fuel came out of the tank, it would just create a vacuum and the fuel pump would be working harder and harder and harder and you would eventually have problems with the fuel pump and fuel delivery at the engine. And that would lead to running issues and running problems. So effectively, there is an opening valve that allows fresh air from the outside into the fuel tank. Now, as the fuel tank expands due to heat, particularly the air inside the fuel tank, the pressure increases increases and that can cause other problems as well in the fuel delivery system so that pressure needs to be vented off now fuel itself particularly gasoline or petrol depending on where you live it can cause all sorts of health problems the benzene that they put in these fuels is a carcinogen and in some countries they go to great lengths to legislate that even when you're refueling the car those gases are vented correctly and captured in some way so they can't cause damage they don't seem to be as bothered in the uk you can really smell the fuel as it's going into the tank but I'm sure that someone's going to crop up with some sort of complaint and issue and all the pumps are going to have to be retrofitted like they have in many European countries. So when you overfill your fuel system effectively you're filling past that venting system the evaporative control system on the fuel tank itself. So that's gonna stop it operating effectively. You're gonna have abnormal pressures, either too lower pressure or too higher pressure within the fuel tank. There's also a charcoal canister. The vapors off the fuel go through before they're vented back into the atmosphere or captured and sent into the engine to be safely burnt. So there's a lot going on in your typical fuel system. And just by overfilling it, you can actually damage that evaporative control system. You can actually damage the fuel filter system that the manufacturer has installed. And that can lead to all sorts of running problems. You can have engine check lights coming on. You can have intermittent starting power surges, power loss at certain points in the RPM range or in certain conditions when it's hot or, or when it's cold. And you can have a whole host of problems coming up just because you've ignored the shutoff when you've refueled the car and you've overfilled the fuel tank. It's an easy problem to avoid, but there is a whole host of issues that crop up, as we've said. So just be mindful when we're filling up our cars that we don't overfill. The fuel shutoff as you're pumping the fuel in is there for a reason. It's been designed to shut off at a certain point. So don't ignore that. It's a safety feature and it's going to save you a lot of money in the long run. It may be you have an older tank that doesn't have these complex systems and it, it won't be damaged, but it's certainly good practice to get into to just allow the fuel pump to decide when you've got enough fuel in there and to shut itself off nicely. So thanks for watching this video. Please boot that like button because that really does help us to get out there. Let us know in the comments your experiences with cars, problems you've had. We'll do our best to address those problems in future videos and get you answers to your burning questions that are all things automotive related. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so because we would love you to stay tuned and I'll see you in this next video I've lined up.